An exhibition in Los Angeles is bringing the work of a groundbreaking video artist to the attention of a new generation. Jeffrey Brown has the story for our arts and culture series, Canvas. It's bright and electric. A swirl of movement. A whirlwind of images. And it's the first major retrospective for 75-year-old artist Ulysses Jenkins. How does it feel to get this recognition? Well, Mr. Brown, <laughs> it is uh, amazing. And in a lot of ways, it's, it's, a, it's a bit overwhelming. Jenkins is considered a pioneer in the world of video art, which emerged as artists in the 1960s and 70s, began using lighter and more affordable video cameras to create work and tell stories. One of the first black artists in the field, Jenkins focused on stereotypes he saw in the media and popular culture, the quote, mass of images, as he titled a 1978 video. You're just a mass of images. You've gotten to know from years and years of TV shows. Now that work can be seen in the exhibition Ulysses Jenkins Without Your Interpretation at UCLA's Hammer Museum, co-curated by Meg Only and Aaron Cristoval. He, in my mind, has always sort of been the godfather of experimental video, I think especially for black artists and curators and scholars. For me, thinking about his work as ahead of its time, he was picking up a lot of tools that we use today, like literally using this tool right now of Skype for us to have this conversation. Jenkins was born and raised in Los Angeles, close enough to feel the excitement of Hollywood studios, while also experiencing the reality of the racial exclusion and tensions of the time. He became interested in art in high school and went on to get a degree in painting and drawing from Southern University in Louisiana. But it wasn't until his return to L.A. that he became interested in video work. So he's thinking in ways that are not necessarily part of traditional filmmaking. He's producing kind of weird and odd videos. He's often out shooting with his friends, and it just has this kind of psychedelic California vibe to it. And you really get this sense that they're at the edge of America producing work together as a band of people, really thinking outside of, let's say, art world norms at the time. One approach Jenkins adopted, turning himself into a kind of actor or storyteller, taking on a performance role of the African griot. The griot tells the story of the culture through music, through, through song. People on the outside did not want to necessarily understand what we as African Americans were trying to express. Taking on the character of a griot fit very uh, succinctly with my heritage and, uh, and to that degree the artistic uh, notions that I wanted to pre uh, present. The work is experimental, sometimes wildly so. I'm very proud of the black man's progress, and we're going to make it, baby. We're just going to make it. Sometimes more straightforward documentary style, as in Remnants of the Watts Festival, his take on an annual event commemorating the 1965 Watts uprising. The goal for Ulysses for that sort of experimental documentary was to capture a community and particularly a festival that was really being attacked by the mainstream media. And so his goal for that documentary was really to show, you know, black people feeling empowered, black people feeling excellent, and, you know, black art uh, being valued. As a graduate student at what was then called Otis Art Institute, he made Two Zone Transfer, a film that furthered his examination of black representation in media. It's really presented as a fever dream. Ulysses wakes up and he suddenly is confronted with uh, the history of minstrel performance. So you see him at one point becoming a preacher. He then jumps into a performance as uh, James Brown and is dancing. 
He's thinking about the trappings of black masculinity uh, in the sense of the roles that you can play within societies. Jenkins eventually turned his focus to teaching. He's been a professor of studio art at the University of California, Irvine, since 1993. What is it you most want to convey to young artists today? Well, first of all, if they can free themselves from, from the notion of the stereotypical uh, concepts that are, that are embedded in, a, in the culture, then in terms of their usage, that's what I'm trying to get them to recognize. For the curators of the show, the work is as relevant now as ever, especially for younger audiences. Whether it's questions of representation, uh, multiculturalism, digital technologies, connectivity, you know, questions of uh, colonialism and critique, Ulysses was having all of these conversations, you know, really starting in the 1970s. And I think it's really important for us as a younger generation to understand our roots. Did it feel like it's been a long time coming? Oh, yeah. With all the work that I have created, you're just wondering, when would I get it, the recognition that the work deserved? And this is it. I've been waiting for y'all. Ulysses Jenkins, without your interpretation, is at the Hammer Museum through the middle of May. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Jeffrey Brown.